from today, heart attack and stroke patients in the Canterbury area will have to be treated in Ashford or Margate. The local Kent and Canterbury Hospital can no longer provide support, though this is only a temporary measure. The East Kent Hospital's NHS Trust says it will not put lives at risk, but Canterbury's first ever Labour MP, Rosie Dunfield, doesn't agree. Well, earlier I asked her why she feels this is a dangerous move. Um, simply things like the acute stroke unit has been closed down. People are no longer going to be able to get here in an emergency by ambulance. Ambulances aren't going to be stopping here because of the closure today. And that is obviously really dangerous and really terrifying for most constituents that I've heard from. But there aren't enough consultants to oversee the junior doctors, so patients are going to be at, at risk if they continue offering this service, aren't they? That's what we've been told by the NHS um, chief executives, yes, but that's not reassuring to the constituents here who need to get somewhere in an emergency. It's not good enough, it shouldn't have shut, and if they're not able to recruit junior doctors, there's even more reason to press ahead with this medical school and full teaching hospital, which will attract junior doctors. We need to do that urgently, and I need reassurances that that's going to happen. There have been many public meetings. Locals are extremely concerned about that. What are your fears for the future yeah. of the Kent and Canterbury Hospital? Well, I've been assured that this is a temporary move. It shouldn't have happened at all, like I said, but I'm going to make sure that it is a temporary move. We've been told it could be three months, but I'm going to press all of the time, speaking to the health secretary as much as possible and the chancellor to ensure that we have the money to build this hospital and to attract the right kind of staff so that we can run a full emergency centre again. But as an opposition MP, what are you really able to do about this? Um, I've just got to raise awareness of the issue as much as possible in Parliament. I'm working cross-party with other MPs in the area. Helen Waitley from the Conservatives, the Faversham MP. I hope Roger Gale will want to work with us as well because this affects his constituents. And we just need to make sure that this is on the agenda. We're talking to the Health Secretary, the Chancellor, to free up money to make sure we have this teaching hospital and that it's fully staffed and that we have an emergency centre again. Are you concerned, though, that this isn't going to happen quickly enough for patients? It's got to. I just have to keep fighting for it because there's no choice. We absolutely have to have a hospital that everybody can get to. People who've had a stroke or a heart attack having to get their own transport or cars or buses or somehow get across to other areas, it's just not viable. And it's really frightening people on a daily basis and causing a lot of stress. Rosie Duffield, thank you very much for talking to us this evening.